From all of us at today, congratulations, WTWO, on 50 years. Hey there, Wabash family. Sydney Benter here. I was at WTWO from 2011 to 2014. Now I'm in Cincinnati, my hometown at WKRC, but I still think of the Wabash Valley often, and I miss my news family there at WTWO. I want to wish you all a happy 50th anniversary. NBC2, happy 50th anniversary. I'm in St. Louis, still doing the weather, and for a similar region, so usually what weather we get, you guys end up getting as well. I keep up with Dana and Jesse and the rest of the gang. Sydney Venter and I still tell stories. We love you dearly. Always will be like family to me. Hey there, this is Jeremiah Johnson with the Pacers, a proud WTWO alum, 2001 to 2004. Happy 50th anniversary. Also, got to give a shout out to Doppler Dan, Jesse Walker, Jason Penske, Tommy Mack. Good to see you guys still holding down the fort in Farmersburg. Hi, Terre Haute. It's Jenny Runovich. I was the weekend anchor at Channel 2 way back in 2000 through 2002. I hear it's the 50th anniversary of WTWO, so happy anniversary to Channel 2. Really loved working there. I had so many good times. Great meeting everyone in the Wabash Valley. Love working with Tom McClanahan. I miss you, Tom. I miss you, Dan Reynolds, working on the weekend desk with him. Here's where I am now. This is WTHR in Indy. These are my digs, the studio. So anytime, we're just down the road. If you go down I-70 or in Indy for a day, feel free to flip on Channel 13 and check out your old pal, Jenny. Happy anniversary, Channel 2. I will leave you with a couple of twos. Do you guys still do that? Happy anniversary. Hey Wabash Valley, it's Elise Evans sending a huge Texas-sized congratulations to WTWO on their 50th anniversary. I'm so glad to have been a part of it. Hi everyone, it's Patrick Fazio. I'm now the morning anchor at the NBC station in Kansas City, but I just wanted to say hi to all my friends back at WTWO. Tom, Dana, Jesse, Dop, Jason, everyone else who's still there. I can't believe uh, celebrating your 50th anniversary and uh, hard to believe also my wife and I we're in the Wabash Valley for almost uh, 10 years. That's where our kids were born. So we have a lot of great memories of living there. And we hope everyone there is doing well. Just wanted to say hi. Hello, Wabash Valley. A little blast from the past here. It's Todd Rubin, former weekend sports anchor there at WTWO. I want to wish the station a happy 50th anniversary. Uh, hard to believe it's been 15 years since I was there in Terre Haute. I uh, spent from 1996 to 2000 uh, anchoring the weekend sports there and lots of great memories of the people and the crew I worked with there in the Wabash Valley. Uh, since leaving Terre Haute, uh, I spent the next three years doing weekend sports in Springfield, Missouri and continuing my sports anchoring career in Milwaukee, Wisconsin after that. Uh, now you can find me teaching broadcast journalism and TV production up at Glenbrook North High School in Northbrook, Illinois, just north of Chicago. So hopefully someday one of my former students will be down there anchoring and uh, doing some reporting at WTWO. Lots of great memories from the Wabash Valley, uh, probably most of which were the people I worked with. Uh, the behind the scenes folks, um, my, my co-anchors on the weekend shows, uh, people like Mike Marr, Jacqueline Sosa, Melanie Cook, Alan Penrose, Jim Sinise, Jay Birchback, and of course Dan Reynolds, uh, some of the main crew that uh, really mentored me early in my career, uh, Tom McClanahan always there for a word of advice, Nancy Hoskins with a smile all the time, Jesse Walker making me feel so comfortable there in the Wabash Valley, and a special shout out to Jason Penske who I know is an icon in Terre Haute and uh, certainly been one of my mentors in the sports journalism industry. So that'll wrap it here from Northbrook, Illinois. Again, happy 50 year anniversary to WTWO. Uh, hopefully we see each other soon. Hello WTWO. Greetings from beautiful Bend, Oregon. I'm Lee Anderson. I worked at your wonderful station for nine years from October 1st, 1987 until December 31st of 1996. Hard to believe that it's been almost 19 years since I was there. I've been here at KTVZ as news director uh, for most of that entire time, those 19 years. Anyway, still got a lot of friends there. Uh, miss them, I hope they're doing well. Mac and of course Jesse and Duke Penske and my buddy Doppler Dan Reynolds, hope they're all doing well. Uh, for you young folks, new, just starting into the business, you, you've got a good station to start at, I'll say that. Uh, for those of you who don't know me or who might remember me from uh, some of the things I did, I did uh, Anderson's Anecdotes, so you might remember that one. You might remember Table for Two, that was one of our favorite ones. And of course I also anchored and produced the morning show there for many years. Uh, and of course I did that other uh, segment that was uh, has actually been kind of forgotten about. It was called 
Uh, I don't remember eating corn. It, it was one of those segments that uh, Doppler, Dan, and, and, and Mac came up with specifically. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a good time at this celebration. Happy 50th anniversary, WTWO.